एवरीवन नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड माय वार्मेस्ट विशेस एंड वेलकम टू यू ऑल ऑन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ आवर क्लास लेट मी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ इट्स मी प्रतीक्षा दुलाल योर साइंस टीचर आई एम हियर टू टीच यू साइंस ऑफ क्रेट टू सो आवर टॉपिक टूडेज टॉपिक इज वंडर्स ऑफ हीट एंड लाइट so the topic is very interesting you will enjoy it do you know what is wonder do you know the meaning of wonder so wonder means something that caught that cause amazement and excitement that is wonder before we go through the lesson i would like to ask some question what will happen if there is no light can you say what will happen if there is no light obviously it will be dark and we cannot see things around us isn't it then what will happen if there is no heat if there is no heat we cannot dry our clothes we cannot dry our grain we cannot cook our food we cannot keep us warm so both light and heat energy is very important in our life so from this unit we will know the concept of energy so what is energy in your word if we eat food we get energy we can able to do work and we will be active also so energy means the ability to do some work and to be active so the definition of energy is the ability to do some work and to be active is called energy this lesson is very important so you have to note it in your copy all of you put your book and copy in front of you it will be very helpful so energy means the ability to do some work and to be active when we eat food we get energy to do something we will be active so energy is very important and there are two main sources of energy first one is heat energy and second one is light energy for your level these two sources of energy are very important so all of you now we will go through the book all of you look on page number 79 wonders of heat and light okay when the sun rises in the morning it makes the day bright and in the morning the sun is slanted as well as it is not so hot so in the afternoon the sun is hotter and brighter what i'm saying at midday sun becomes brighter and hotter during the day it is bright and warm we can see things easily in the daylight so we can walk we can write we can read we can play when there is light all of you look on page number 80 and there is some pictures given some boys are playing football one girl is reading book then a woman is cooking food so they are doing their work because there is light if there is no light then they cannot do their work easily isn't it so do you think they can do this work in the dark they can do this work in dark no they cannot do this work in dark because 
we cannot see anything in the dark. So in the night we cannot see things. We need other sources of light. They are electric lamp, electric lamp, then kerosene lamp, whereas candles, etc. So these are some sources of light we use in the night. Then only we can see things very easily. So light is very important in our life as well as plant also need light. Both heat and light are important for plant also and for us also. Then have a look on page number 81. During cold month, people sit around the fireplace to get warm. Tato people are go around and they get heat. So, as well as in the cities and town, people use heater to get heat. Tato paunokalagi cities or town use they use heater. So we can get heat by the burning firewood or we can use fire cake especially fire cake is used in the rural areas that is village in village fire cake which is made from the cattle's dung animal or gogo we can make fire cake and fire cake is made just like a cake and we have to keep it, uh, on the heat and we can, if it will dry, then we can use it as a fire. So it is also a sources of heat and we can get heat by burning quail, quail, koila, kerosene, petrols and cooking gas. So we get heat and light from the different sources. I will explain it again. Sources of light are electric lamps, second is kerosene lamp, candles, so they are the sources of light. You can say torch light, they are all the sources of light. Whereas the sources of heat are, so this is sources of light, they are the sources of light, then sources of heat, from where we get heat? Yes, that is burning firewood, burning firewood, cooking gas, from cooking gas we can get heat and from burning coal and as well as kerosene. So, as a trasu, these are some sources of heat and light. So, I have one question for you. What is the main source of heat and light? What may be the answer? Can you say? What is the main source of heat and light? Yes, sun is the main source of heat and light. Sun gives us heat also and it provides us light also. So it is the main source of heat and light. Now we will go to the next topic that is uses of heat. Uses of heat and light. Uses of heat and light. So heat and light are very important. They are very important. If there is no light, we cannot see anything. And if there is no heat, we cannot get warm. We cannot dry our clothes. We cannot cook food. So both of them are very important in our daily life. Now all of you, we will go to the book, page number 81. What happens if there is no light? Obviously, it will be dark. We can see anything in the dark. So, to see the things in the dark, we need some 
sources of light. I have already told you that is electric lamp, torch light, candles. So they are the sources of light. So we need light. Why do we need light? Why do we need light? We need light to read, to walk, to walk in the kitchen. So they are the uses of the light in the daytime. In the daytime, we get light from the sun and at night we use candles, electric lamp and kerosene lamp. So these are the uses of the light. So what are the uses of light? Now you can say it very easily. We need light to read, we need light to write, we need light to walk, we need light to walk safely on the road, we need light to walk in the kitchen. So light is very important as well as plant also need light plant also need light to grow. If there is no light, then plant will turn into the into the aloe. Kim Thazani plant or aloe color kunzani due to the lack of light. So light is very important for all. As well as heat. Uses of heat. We will go we will read about the uses of heat. Heat is used for cooking food. Heat is used for drying clothes, heat is used for drying grains, it is used to make our body warm, it keeps our body warm. So there are many uses of heat and light. So these are the uses of heat and light. So I will repeat it again. What are the uses of light? If there is light, we can read, we can write, we can play, we can walk safely on the road, we can walk in the kitchen easily. So they are the uses of light. Then what are the uses of heat? It is used for cooking food, it is used for drying clothes, it is used for drying grains and it is used to keep our body warm. So these are the uses of heat and light. And I have already told you that plant also need heat and light to grow. To grow, they need heat and light. And plant also need light to prepare their food. Plant it it prepares its food themselves by the help of water, air and sunlight. So light is very important for plant also. It will help plant to grow. So heat and light helps plant grow. We need food from plant. We need food to live as well as food gives us energy so what are what is the main sources of energy that is sun sun is the main sources of energy so we have finished our lesson our topic was wonders of heat and light and we have talked about the sources of heat and light as well as the uses of heat and light now all of you I have some work for you all. You have to write it, okay? This is homework for you. Okay, question is, what is what is the main source of heat and light? So what is the main source of heat and light? Dear student, what is the main source of heat and light? That is sun. Very good, that is sun. Now you can easily say the answer. What is the main source of heat and light? That is sun. Then write the next question. List out 
any three sources of light. So what are the sources of light? That they are candles, kerosene lamp, electric lamp, etc. They are the three sources of light. As well as third question is list out any three sources of heat. So what are the three sources of heat? They are quail, burning quail, cooking gas, as well as kerosene. They are the three sources of heat. Then the fourth question is list out any list out any three uses of light. So because of light we can read we can write we can do our work easily isn't it so they are the uses of light then the fifth question is list out any three uses of heat heat ko uses of it is used to cook food it is used to keep us warm and it is used to dry our clothes. Then the last question is the last question is when is the sun hottest? I have already told you in the first sun get hotted or sun get brighter sun becomes hotter in the afternoon that is at mid at midday so when is the sun get hotted sun get hotted at the midday so these are some homework for you we have to do it and these all questions are very easy for you you can do it quickly this much for today we will see you in next video